Hi gang, this is section 9.3, which is multiplying binomials using the FOIL method. You may have learned other methods, but I'm going to show you the FOIL because I think this is the easiest one, and this is the one that I prefer. Okay, again, binomials is polynomials with two terms. So if you're going to do a binomial times a binomial, you want to use the FOIL method. FOIL stands for first outside inside and then last okay um, so first you want to take the first term times the first term so if I do 3x times 2x I get 6x squared okay the O stands for outside I want to do the two outside numbers so 3x times positive 4 is plus 12x then I want to do inside which is plus 5 again times 2x which is plus 10x and then I want to go plus 5 times plus 4 the last times the last so first outside inside last and I get plus 20 and you can see here I have like terms so I need to combine the middle so I get 6x squared plus 22x plus 20 and there's my answer Okay. Here's the other way of doing it. So when I do first times first, I get 18x squared. When I do outside, I get minus 6x. And then here's where it's a little different. When I do the inside, I get negative 6x, again, because negative 2 times 3. I can actually go vertical on this and line it up underneath the like term. And then negative 2 times negative 1, be careful with these. You want to take the sign in front of it is plus 2. So instead of lining it up this way and adding the middle, you could line it up this way and add your middle this way vertically. So my answer would be 18x squared minus 12x plus 2. Okay. Here's another example over here. I just got a couple more. So you can see this one I have plus plus. On this example I have minus and minus on the inside. I have a plus and a minus and then I have a minus and a plus in the binomial. Okay, so again, first times first is going to be 28x squared. Outer is 7 times negative 3, which is negative 21x. Inner would be plus 8x. And last would be positive 2 times negative 3, which is negative 6. I'm going to combine these two, and I get 28x squared uh, minus 13x minus 6. And there's my answer. And then the last example, 2x times 3x is 6x squared. That's my first. My outer is plus 14x, 2x times positive 7. My inner, I'm going to go negative 15x. And my last is negative 35. So again, I'm just showing you two ways. This one I did it horizontally across the top two. And on the bottom, I'm showing you vertically. So when I add it up, I get 6x squared minus x minus 35 okay that's a pretty simple one there it's just two more set two more examples and it's going to be pretty quick here's another one i have a binomial times a trinomial and again this is why i want i i suggest doing foil because it doesn't matter how many terms you you have basically you're distributing both terms so it's not just FOIL, but it's distributing this first term to all three, and then you're going to distribute this term to all three as well. Okay, so you're distributing both of them. So the first one, again, 5x times 3x squared should be 15x to the third. 5x times negative 6x is minus 30x squared. And then 5x times negative 4 is minus 20x. Now I do this in negative 2 times 3x squared is negative 6x squared. So I'm going to do this one vertically. Negative 2 times negative 6, I'm doing the second rainbow, is positive 12x. And then negative 2 times negative 4 is plus 8. So now I just go down vertically. 15x cubed minus 36x squared minus 8x plus 8. And there's my answer. Okay. So again, if you just get the 
um, basic understanding of distributing the first number in and then distributing the second one, including the sign. That's basically FOIL, but with three terms. Okay, so here's a word problem, or not a word problem, a picture problem that you're going to get in the book. And it's saying, find the area of the shaded region. So I want to find the area of this, kind of like a donut, a square donut. So what I need to do is find the area of the outside and then minus the area of the inside. So the area of the outside would be 2x plus 5 times 3x plus 1. And then I'm going to minus this area, which is x times x plus 2. And notice I put parentheses around there because I want to minus the whole thing. So when I do my FOIL here, I get 6x squared plus 2x plus 15x plus 5. And then minus, and when I do this and I get x squared plus 2x, sorry. And notice I have the parentheses around it because I need to distribute the negative. Before I do that, I'm going to combine this. Get 6x squared plus 17x plus 5, and now I'm going to distribute this in minus x squared minus 2x. Okay. So now when I take the 6x squared, if I want to, I can just combine it, or I can just move this under here and move this under here to get rid of these. So basically, I took this, and I moved it here, and I took the minus 2x, and I moved it here, and now I can solve it vertically. Okay. Or I could just do it horizontally like this. I could take the 6x squared minus x squared and I get 5x squared. I take my 17x minus 2x and notice I use different markings so I can tell plus 15x and I have this plus 5 left over and that would be the area of the Shaded area, I'm sorry, the area of the shaded region, and you could put unit squared to label. Okay, that's basically 9.3. Hope this helps.